So we've gotten to our campground. The first thing we want to do is disconnect our truck, which means putting the wheel down, spinning this up. This gets, this is going to normally be in the down position with your, this through. So you'll take that out, release it. We always put it back in the same spot, clamp it, take your chains off, take your emergency brake off. Then you're gonna take and raise that up until it comes loose of the truck. And then if you can see, like our campsite right now is level, so we had to go down. We'll take the level, which is located right in here, and use our stripe, which is level. Put the level up there, make sure that it's in the bubble, and then go into the back of the camper and put our level on the back bumper and see if it's level there. If we're level there, then we're ready to go. The next step you do is put these in the down position. So you turn it to the right, take the orange, just flatten the little platter off. Now these are just gonna go down until they make contact. If you're in grass, you go a little bit more but on stone, they're not going to go any further. So that's all that you should do. It shouldn't be lifting up the trailer. It's just leveling the trailer and keeping it from moving around. So once you have those set, all four of those set, then you're going to go back, release all of your four sides. But before you put it up, you need to make sure that you have everything that you need out of the front that you can't get from the side door. Because once you open the bed, you won't be able to get to this compartment except through here. So whatever you need, make sure you get an empty out. Like we already took all our camp chairs out, our propane and our water and dishwashing. So now we'll come around to the back and we'll start going up. And I always give a check to say, okay, we got all of them disconnected, we're good to go. So now we'll start going up. Once it stops clicking, we don't want to go any further. We stop there. You can either leave this in. Now, we're going to take the ends out. It doesn't matter which end you start on, as long as the ends come out. So we're going to take the end out. Then we'll take the other end out. Till they stop. I may have some stuff like this on top over here. This is just from the inside of the camp canvas. So just take and give it a nice sweep to clean it off. Now if you look underneath, we have the poles and they snap in. We'll come over and then they rotate right here. Rotate it over. And it's easier if you just put your back and lift it up and it goes on the pole. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Same process. Bringing it over, lifting it up. And now, take the canvas off. And I always just take them. It's easier with two people, but since we got our videographer, we'll do it with one. If you take and grab the middle, 
you can push the pole into place. And if you just wiggle the pole, it'll go into place. It could be right at the end. And then you'll come and pick this up. Make sure it's centered on here. And then looking underneath, there's little tabs that you have rope that comes over and hooks onto all the way around the middle and the bottom. So now we're gonna go over to the other side. Once you have the ends out, take the side and you're gonna twist it towards the inside. Take this side, twist it towards the inside. So the flat side should be on the inside. You're gonna grab these two handles and you're gonna pull out. Until it stops. So now we're good to go there. We'll do the same thing that we did on the other end with the bars. Only these are going onto the bumper. So they'll just lift up and they go like that on the bumper. And just use your back to lift it up. And then the canvas goes up the same way. Now you'll take and undo your lock for your door to the left, take your key out, have that drop down, now we'll go in. Now on the inside, all of your poles are under here and they're labeled. And you see right on the end, they're labeled and this is the front. If you lift up and look, there's a hole right in the middle that you push that into. And then up top, just push it like that to hold it in place. Now we have two that go on the... Then you're gonna push this out. Make sure that's pushed out before you start. Pick this up. Now you grab this handle right in the middle, it says lift, you're just going to lift and make sure none of your hoses or anything shifted and transport as you're putting it down. Sometimes your hoses get kind of, you get pinched, so we always just make sure that our hoses look good here. You get this underneath your faucet so that way you won't do any damage to the faucet as it's coming over it's what it was getting stuck on now we take this pole and it's labeled kitchen window there's two holes one there and one on the other side and then we're just going to take it's actually easier if you put it out and then line up that hole. And then you take the one, there's two different poles, so you need to make sure that you get the one that's, this one's located dining. So that's actually gonna go over here. Kitchen one still here. Go in that way, push out. This top right here goes in, clicks in. Then we're gonna do the same thing over here. Just flip that out. And go up with this you have to like just get it to come past that get it to about there and then you'll take the pole push that until it goes snap it like that so we're all set there now we'll go and this plug here is your air conditioning plug so we'll plug that in that'll go right down in here 
actually we'll go I usually go on the top so that we can plug the actual um, microwave so then we usually just take the microwave comes out and just slide the microwave down if you're not going to use the microwave then you don't have to do this but if you're going to use the microwave you have a camp stove that's located in here a couple other silver or uh, placemats and things like that so, so just lift that up and out of the way set that up so we can slide our microwave over and now we'll bring the microwave Usually the tray has shifted and moving, so we'll just plug that in down here as well. Make sure the microwave is ready to go. Just make sure that the tray is all straight. Down here is where the extra cable is for your um, that goes outside for power. Down here is where, if you ever have an issue where you blow a fuse, it's going to be one of these. Usually these breakers right here, and you just flip it up. As far as the air conditioning, turn it to, we're going to turn it to cool and make sure that the temperature is set to cooler. Once you do that, you have seats that look like this with the wood on the back. Take to make sure that your seat back is up, it sits like that ones that are underneath that have the same material will go like here just slide back just slide those back just there and you don't have to do that until you do your table I'm just gonna set this over here for now I'm really not gonna use this so I usually just put this or some big things some just things that kind of thing so I'm just gonna store that back underneath place mounts feel free underneath the other side just a first aid kit and then we'll take the table up and if you're going to use if you're going to use the um, if you're going to fold it down to make a bed then obviously you would do the same thing with that table when you fold it up it's got a little latch that you latch Sit the table back in place like that. Bench goes over, make sure it's behind the pole on the other side. This goes over here and it goes so the pole is your rest on the one side and this metal is the rest on the other side. And it just sits in like that. Um, you have your kitchen utensils. Down in here, some more kitchen utensils and things like that. So toaster over in the corner, plates, silverware, and then your actual knives and forks, lighters, lights, electricity, stuff like that down here. So that's what it's gonna look like when it's all said and done over there. And then the last thing that you wanna do is take down the door. So you're going to take and release these latches and it's going to slide right here. Take this, just pick it up like that so it's out. You're going to pick it up, just slowly bring it down. And if you look at the bottom, you'll see the groove that it goes into in the bottom. And you just gently slide it across into that groove. Just making sure that this is on the out on the inside. Same thing over here, make sure your curtains didn't shift. So this is what's gonna close off and keep the bugs out at night, keep your cool air in. And then we just shift the door in the bottom until it gets to the point where it will go in. And then there's these little latches right here that you can see that just go behind. Same thing on the other side. Sometimes it takes a little bit of nest to get it to work and you take the velcro velcro down the side of the door and 
the inside. There's also a Velcro on the outside that'll keep that cinch together. Same thing over here. This is what's gonna keep your bugs and the water out. You just gotta kind of play around with the Velcro until you get it straight. And then your door opens up. You also can let cool air in that way. Any questions? Watch the video. Pretty much explains how it works. Thank you.